This car literally invented the thing that has saved over 1 million lives. Not airbags, not ABS, one simple strap changed everything. Meet the 1959 Volvo PV5 for Fu and Amazon to Swedish sedans that quietly became the safest cars ever built. 1959, most cars had no belts at all. If you crashed, you flew through the windshield, Volvo decided that was unacceptable. They put one invention in every single car they sold that year. And then gave the patent away for free, let that sink in. The inventor was Nils Bolden, a Volvo engineer who used to design ejection seats for fighter jets. In 1958, he drew a V-shaped belt on a napkin. One year later, it was saving lives in real customers' cars. Here's how genius it was. Old lap belts crushed your spine in a crash. Nils added a shoulder strap that anchors high on the door pillar. Forces now spread across chest and pelvis, strong bones, not soft organs. Fatalities dropped 50 to 70% overnight. First car to get its standard, the PV5 for four cute rounded fastback, 157 inches long, built like a tiny tank. Under the hood, 1.6 LB16 engine, 60 to 85 horsepower, four speed manual. Top speed 95 miles per hour, but it felt unbreakable. Open the door and you see it immediately, bright red or grey three-point belt waiting for you, no inertia reel yet. You pull it across and hear the heavy metal tongue go click, that click became the sound of survival. The Amazon 121 four-door joined the same year. Longer, roomier, same belt in every seat, front and rear. Volvo was the first company ever to protect passengers, not just the driver. Volvo crash tested relentlessly, they rolled cars off cliffs and smashed them into walls. Dummies with the new belt walked away, dummies without. Didn't, the black and white film shocked the world. Here's the wild part. Volvo could have made billions licensing the patent. Instead, President Gunnar Ingelow said, it's too important to keep. They opened it to every car maker for free. That single decision saved millions. By 1968, every new car in America had to have seatbelts, every single one using Nils Bolin's exact design. Today, over 1.5 million people are alive because of what started in these to modest Volvos. Drive a 1959 example today and it still feels solid. The belt geometry is identical to your 2025 car, same angles, same anchor points. Modern belts just added retractors and pretensioners. The core idea never changed. Fun fact, early belts had no retractor, so drivers learned to tuck the extra strap or sit on it. By 1967, Volvo added automatic reels, then explosive pretensioners in the 80s, all building on the 1959 foundation. Without this belt, airbags wouldn't work, you'd just bounce off them. Every modern safety system depends on you being held perfectly still by a design from 1959. The PV5 Fufu won the brutal 1965 East African Safari Rally, proving tough cars with great belts could beat anything. It wasn't fast, but it finished when flashier cars broke. Restored examples now sell for $15,000, $35,000, start. One up and the B18 engine settles into a smooth idle that says I'll run forever, and it usually does, many have over 500,000 miles. Look closely at any car in 2025 Lamborghini, Tesla, school bus, every seatbelt traces straight back to these Volvos. No other invention has saved more lives in automotive history. Nils Bolin never became rich, he passed away quietly in 2002, but he's in the Automotive Hall of Fame, his daughter still keeps the original napkin sketch. Next time your seatbelt warning chimes, remember, that beep started as a red strap in a little Swedish sedan in 1959, and it's still the best safety feature ever made. The PV5 Fufu and Amazon weren't the fastest, prettiest, or most powerful. They were simply the first to say every life matters, and then proved it. One restored 1959 Amazon owner told us, my grandfather rolled it at 70 miles per hour in 1964, walked away because of the belt, I still drive it every Sunday. Another owner found the original purchase papers, $2,395 brand new, best money ever spent. These cars taught the world that safety doesn't need to be complicated. Just one perfect idea, executed perfectly, shared freely.
1961, the Swedish Royal Navy's HMS Baven had perhaps the rarest of submarine accidents when it was involved in a fender bender with a car in Lysekul, the Volvo PV444 had been parked on a hill but slipped out of gear and rolled down the slope. It narrowly missed lampposts and barrels of herring before colliding with the docked sub, causing minor damage. Watch old footage of a belted dummy surviving a 50 miles per hour crash in 1959, then watch a modern car do the same, same result, same reason. The three-point seatbelt is the only car part that has never been improved, only refined, everything else is just catching up. Volvo's gift cost them millions in lost royalties, but it built a reputation nothing can buy, trust. Today 9 out of 10 people survive crashes that were fatal in the 1950s, largely because of what started right here. Imagine a world where Volvo kept the patent. Millions would be gone, instead, they chose humanity over money. The PV5 for for and Amazon didn't just carry people. They carried the future of safety in a simple piece of webbing. If this story moved you, do one thing today. Buckle up every single time. Hit like if you'll never forget where that little click came from. See you in the next one. Stay safe.